Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my revised run on this week's Master Nightfall. It's a 16 minute run, so it's five and a half minutes faster than the one I've done before. Although it's, it's not a speed run, it's just more efficient. I do a couple of things a little bit differently. Xenophage and the grenade are still going to do all the work. Taking repurposing, taking armaments are really going to be helpful, as is high energy fire and the mod from the the artifact that allows you that gets you charged for light counter charge that gets you charged for light every time you stop a champion so they're still going to do the work i just tackle a few of the sections a little bit differently as soon as you get into the first area throw your grenade at the throw at the taken scion sorry throw it at the scions and then because every time you break one of those cabal shields you're going to get a grenade back so there's two cabal arc shielded centurions you're going to get one back from each of them so you can utilize that just make sure you've got a grenade for the end so i throw my grenade i'm not going to be worried about the the axion darts because i'm in a rift so they can't really kill me so as soon as you break the shield take them out with the xenophage and then i'm going to throw a grenade to the back try and kill those last couple at the back there are still a couple left and what i would advise and you'll see i don't do it here but what i would advise don't go attacking those scions just go for the champion straight away so i'm going to throw my grenade and then stop them and then just mop them up with the xenophage now how this run is different is from now now to the next section because what i'm going to do is just clear up these last scions and then i'm going to leave this blight i'm not going to attack it and I'm just going to drive up to the next blight where the two champions are. Now, it just speeds this run up a couple of minutes. Because now we can take the champions out with no ads. So you see the champion come straight for me. So I'm just going to stop him. Xenophage him. And then the second champion just comes straight after him. And we're going to do the same thing. So just get a reload. S grenade. Stop him. And because you find, especially with Controverse, that, that when you put it on the bigger ads, you get more grenade back because it's, it's actually burning on the ad more. And I find that you get more grenade energy back the longer the, the grenade is active on top of enemies. So, get a little bit of heavy there. Now, as you can see, not got a ton of heavy. So, what we're going to do with this, once we break this shield... We'll take out the snipers and then with the overload what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of bow action on them. If you've got a ton more heavy than I've got, just xenophage, it, your run will be even faster than this one. So, as you can see, you've got to watch out for those retribution blasts. As you can see here, I'm just going to keep hitting because I've got overload, I've got overload rounds on my bow. My Arsenic Bite with Dragonfly and Explosive Rounds is a really good combination. And once I get them down low enough, I'm just going to mop them up with the Xenophage. Because in this next section, I'm going to get quite a bit of heavy ammo. So there's one, that one, and then there's one behind these kind of trees on the left. Take that, take him out. Watch out again for the Retribution. Charge your grenade and just put it in front of the, the biggest... The biggest um, group of take and throw i've got to get another grenade still adds up watch out because around about the blight there are three more snipers there's one on the right two two on the left one on the left is behind the blight actually on the left on top of a bus you can see me hitting it now and then there's one right next to the blight then all we're interested in now is getting in taking out this blight and then going after the overload so just like just like the previous run, we're relying on shield breaks to keep getting our grenades back. And it's really efficient in this with the Xenophage because there's a lot of solar shields. So once you've taken out that overload, there's still a couple of thrall floating about. Just go up here and I'm looking to see where the adds are. Just try to break some of, some of these... Uh, try to take a captain actually to get a grenade. But luckily there was one there unshielded. So I'll just get my grenade... Throw it on those adds, try and, try and get some heavy ammo. Take out these last throw. You know, I'm not... When you get to this point, you shouldn't be worried about grenades and or heavy. Because every time you throw a grenade, 
you stand a chance of generating heavy ammo. And every time there's three captains, two red bar, and an elite. Every time you break one of their shields, you're going to get a grenade. Make sure when you when you see three ads shooting at you like this, don't just stand there and take those shots. Put a rift down. Because that can happen very quickly. So I'm gonna I've got a grenade, so I'm gonna stick it over on, on the, the, the goblin that's shielding the captain. And then make sure after this section you still got a grenade. You don't want to be just willy nilly throwing grenades. Once you break the last captain's shield. Don't throw any more grenades. Keep them, for, especially as you'll see here. This, this, trying to entice this champion out out of the the bubble. I can stop him while he's while he's in the grenade, and obviously now that gives him a gives me a buff to damage. I got my grenade back because the you know the bigger ads. The, if you put a grenade on top of the bigger ads, you stand more of a chance of getting more grenade back with the controversy. That's both champions down. Now what we're going to do is break this break this uh, blight, destroy the blight, and then I'm going to charge a grenade and drop it where the adds spawn in. And that will that should take out a fair amount of the the thrall, but give you heavy ammo. But also you'll get your grenade back when you break the the elite's shield, and then I just finish them off with the with the xenophage. Make sure you reload the xenophage. Every time you attack an enemy. So as you can see here. I'm going to drop that grenade on top of that overload. Hit him with four shots. And allow the grenade to burn him out. What I should have done. Is reloaded. As you can see here. I decided. I was just going to bow this overload. And I just never had enough rounds. So it actually worked out okay. Because I got my grenade. So I just throw the grenade on. Do the thing. And let the grenade burn the, the overload out, which gives me heavy ammo back. Which means all the heavy ammo I lost from that kind of first attempt, I got back. Now this section, I do a little bit... I actually do it a ton faster, because I pay less attention to the thrall. It's all about the knights. Now, you only have to break the bottom knight's shield to get through this, this section. So, throw a grenade here, and then I'm, I, I don't even wait to see if, what it kills. I just go straight away looking for the second knight. He's behind there, so I kind of jump up and hit fire on him, and then jump down with the warlock and the hit fire from the xenophage. Very quick to take him out, and then I take the second knight out straight away. Grenade down here, which I was I thought I was unfortunate, but luckily there was an ad down here that walked into the grenade. And then same thing again. I'm just gonna jump up on this this box and take this knight out straight away, and then I'll throw a grenade down the bottom. Now you can keep a hold of the grenade. For this next part. I had heavy ammo here. I didn't need to generate a grenade. But in this next part. As soon as you go out here. You're going to have two, two unstoppables. So I'm going to stop them. And one shot should stop both of them. And then. Because they're so close together. You'll see. The, the, the explosive rounds from the xenophage. Damage both of them. So I managed to take them out. Really kind of. Really efficiently. Uh, and again. Because there's a lot of ads here. There's a lot of red bar. A lot, a lot of taking scions. You can get, as long as you're getting your grenades back, you can get a ton of heavy here. Now, it was pointed out to me today on stream, and it's something I hadn't really paid a lot of attention to, uh, that when you kill these taking scions, they drop those kind of bloop holes on the floor, or they can drop them. And I hadn't noticed it before, but they actually do. So be careful about... I've noticed if you... Sh it, I'm not 100% sure I haven't tested it, how efficiently or, or, or how reliably they drop those holes, those uh, bloop holes, bloop walls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm not sure how efficiently they drop them if you kill them with grenades. So just just take it as read that they can, they can always do it. You've seen at the start of this little section here, once I killed the adds, I broke the knight's shield at the back just to get my grenade. You get a, you actually get about five or six breaks from him, so you can farm heavy if you need it. You can see there, I'm just going to get a bit more heavy, go straight back up and break his shield again. When I break his shield this time, I'm going to I'm gonna take these snipers and then I'm going to go after the second overload 
which is down at the bottom. You can see just at the bottom there. So I'm just going to throw my grenade and take him straight away. There's quite a few champions in this in this nightfall. I think there's 20. 9 unstoppables and 11 overloads. And and there's a lot of pairs. Bungie have done this thing with between Legend and Master that rather than putting, you know, because there's only so much space that they can put these champions in. They're just doubling down on the action, which which is which is fine. I I, I didn't agree with it to start with, if I'm being honest. But uh, well, it's no big deal. So I'm too low to get the break, but there is a sniper. So just take that sniper out, and I'm going to jump up here, and I'm going to get the break. That gives me my grenade back, and and actually, when I get my grenade back here, I'm going to go for the kill. So I'll jump over onto this platform and I'll kill this knight now. Which then frees up it frees up me to land over there. When it, what I'm gonna do is go over to this section, I'm gonna jump right past the two champions. And I can land down here. As you can see I've got a restorative light. And I can generate heavy ammo here as well. Because I can allow the grenade to kill the champions. So put it on the overload. It doesn't matter which one you do first. But I've put four shots on and let the grenade finish finish the champion off. And because it's a champion, you're always going to get at least 80% of your grenade back. Most of the time, you'll get the grenade straight back. Same thing again on the unstoppable. And then we're on to the next section. So as soon as we go out here, we're going to have three thrall. We're going to take them out of the xenophage. I go for the middle one and the explosive damage takes the rest of them. I broke this knight's shield. So give me a grenade. And I'll just finish him off. Which gives me another grenade. Put the well down. And this champion normally doesn't encroach this this badly. So I decide just stop him. He done that thing where he faced he faced me, but he was in he, he was facing the wall, but it, I managed to shoot him in the head and get the finish on him. Just be mindful that he can push you like that. The kind of dangerous part of this little part of the strike is these kind of fiery knights. So well down, rift down, sorry. Grenade, super, and then make sure you get the shield breaker on the knight to give you a grenade back. One shot finish because he's already damaged by the grenade, so he's got that he's got that oppressive darkness debuff on him, or a buff on him, whatever you like. Throw the grenade, get the shield break on the knight. I throw another grenade, and actually the ad I tried through the second grenade got killed by the first grenade. And then the first, the last ad walked backwards into the second grenade. So it ended up really good. But now I don't have a grenade. So we're just going to use my bow just to finish some of these ads off. Now what you can do if you feel a bit, you know, if you feel like it. There's a lot of restorative light out there. So you could probably get the last ad low. And if you've got a charged melee, use your melee to go and generate. your melee, A charged melee kill gives you half your grenade back. So it's worthwhile trying to generate uh, a grenade from that. Luckily, luckily though, I got a shadow throw from this wizard. So we've got my grenade back. I'm going to throw my grenade on the wizard, which, because it breaks our shield, gives us the grenade straight back. And now we're on to the next section. So with these ads here, I'm not going to bother using a grenade. I'm, I'm okay for heavy. So I'm just, my bow's got uh, explosive rounds and dragonfly on it. So it's really good for clearing bunched up uh, enemies like this and just get a melee kill on the last one or not happen with the bow whichever you fancy uh, and now I'm just going to go straight up to the overload charge a grenade as I'm going up drop the grenade and then finish off this overload put down a put down a, a, a rift because I know I'm going to have a, a, a whole bunch of enemies coming at me and the xenophage again I'm not too worried about Losing a little bit of heavy because I can farm heavy at the boss should I need it. So now that you've now that you've done that, once you've done this kind of section, now what we need is we've got two overloads. <clears throat> we need two grenades. So put a grenade on top and we generate a little bit of heavy here if we need it. And there you go. 
I never quite got my grenade back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bow. I'm going to hit. I've got overload rounds on my bow. So I'm going to stop. Stop this overload champion with the bow. And then kind of push up with the, the xenophage. As you can see there. And I'm going to try and get up close enough that I can finish the boss. The overload champion. That's him finished. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the shield. I'm going to, sorry, charge my grenade and kill these two little lads first. Then, when I break this knight's shield, I'm going to get a grenade. Now, the reason why I pushed in there, it looks like I kind of kamikaze, kamikaze it. But it's because there was a restorative light. So, slightly different to the way I'd, I've done it before. I'm not going to charge a grenade and throw a Nova and all that from down here. I'm going to go straight up top. I'm going to charge a grenade, throw it from up here. As soon as I've seen the grenades hit... I'll throw my Nova, and then I'm ready to put a full clip in. And it's just a lot of damage straight away. So, now, I'm going to break this Knight Shield, and I'm going to use the grenade just to clear out some of these ads. Now, what you want to do with that Knight on the right is you just kind of hold him off there to break his shield should you need it. You get three breaks on him, the third break kills him. So, what you want to do... As your next grenade, just throw it down there, you want it to kill an elite. As you've seen there, I got my rift back, which means it did kill an elite. Because you're obviously taking invigoration. Every time you kill an elite, you get your class ability back. We're going to go for the last break here. And then we should be finishing the boss. Just put a big grenade over it, it'll kill any ads that are shielding them around them. Perfect. And now we just melt them. And that's the run, guys. As you can see there, as I said, there's 20 champions. You need to kill 20 champions to get your platinum, which kind of helps you get more out of the reward system. But that's really it. We've met, we, you can skip a whole host of ads should you need to. I don't really think I do in this run, but it's a ton more efficient than the last wallet run. And I figured I would try and get this out here for you guys, maybe to utilize for the last day of farming. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope it helps you guys get some good rewards. And I will see you in the next video.